Today, I'm going to be discussing the 30% tax credit that everybody is raving about. I just filed my taxes for 2022, and I think you're going to be very surprised on the tax credit that I'm going to be receiving for going solar. Definitely not what I was expecting. But first, for everybody that's new to the channel, I built, designed, and commissioned my own 10 kilowatt solar system back in the summer of 2022. And my goal here on this channel is to provide the truth in going solar. So when someone tells you that you're going to get this or you're going to get that, I'm going to give you the truth of my experience, what I received and what I didn't receive, and whether it was beneficial or not beneficial by going solar, doing it yourself, or hiring somebody to do it for you. I have videos on how much it costs to build it, how much I'm saving monthly, and how to install something similar if you're a DIYer also. So if you're into those type of things, you may want to consider subscribing to the channel, tapping the notification bell, so when I put out new videos like these, you get notified. And probably most importantly, if you find anything helpful about this video, be sure to smash that thumbs up button and let me know that I'm doing an okay job. And something I want to cover very quickly is who actually qualifies for the solar energy credit. And I'm going to leave this link in the description below. So if you want to check this page out, this is from TurboTax. This kind of goes over if you're eligible or you're not eligible. But we're going to touch on it really fast because I think it's important for this video. And I'm just going to scroll down here real fast and look for qualified homes. Right here is where we want to look, qualified homes. This is what meets the criteria. And how do you qualify for the solar tax credit? Just kind of read over this. See if you qualify or not. If you're going to go solar in 2023, 2024, on up to 2032, I would recommend you to at least read these articles and see if you qualify for the tax credit. One of the top questions that I receive about someone building their own solar system is whether they're going to receive a 30% tax credit if they do it themselves and they don't hire someone to do it for them. And the short answer to that is yes, 100%. Just make sure all the components that you buy are new, never used, and you keep the receipts for everything that it took to build your solar system. In my situation, I sourced all the equipment looking for the very best prices that I could find so I can have a faster return on my investment. And if you're looking to do the same thing, I'll leave some links in the description below that you may find helpful. My 10 kilowatt solar system, after counting every penny spent on it, cost around $12,100. In theory, if you've listened to a lot of people that's trying to sell you solar systems or to do the install for you, we should be getting a big fat check for $3,644. That is, if everything that those people are telling you is true. However, it's not true in our situation. We're not getting anywhere near that $3,644 big fat check to go out and spend on whatever we want just because we went solar. With that said, I want to provide you with a little bit more information than just telling you we didn't receive that. I want to show you what we are receiving a credit for and some information that supports what I'm saying here. I filed my taxes using TurboTax and the good thing about that is you can see exactly what your credit would be and what you're receiving and what percentage of it that you're getting. So a lot of people think because they're getting this big check back in the mail, it was all because of solar. That's not true. And I'm gonna show you a screenshot where it says our credit is $3,644, but we didn't receive that in our 2022 taxes. Yes, the total tax credit was $3,644 for going solar last year but we are only receiving $398 of that $3,644 tax credit on our 2022 filing. And that's only 10% of the $3,644 tax credit. However, the remaining $3,246 will be carried over to the 2023 tax filing next year. And if we don't use it all next year, then it's gonna roll over for the following years up to five years. So you have five years to use this tax credit. So after our filing this year, we still have that $3,246 to claim over the next four years. And this is very important for a lot of people to know because solar contractors may be leading you to believe that you're gonna get this 30% tax credit back in a form of a check at the time that you file your taxes the following year. That's simply just not true. And I wanna make sure 
to address this issue because I don't want people going out and spending 30, 40, 50, 60 thousand dollars on a solar system that they think they're going to be getting this 10, 20, 30 thousand dollar check back. That's not true. And I want to make sure that it just helps you start investigating what your tax situation is, whether you're going to get money back or not. And from my experience, this is not true. We have $398 that we got credited. So what can you do with $398? in this economy there's not a lot you might buy a couple tanks of gas and the reality is this could be a couple hundred dollars you're getting back or this could be a couple thousand dollars that you're getting back it really just depends on your tax situation so it's very important to investigate and dive deeper into your tax credit in your tax situation before just signing a contract on a solar system and i don't want that happening to anybody and that's the reason that i'm putting these type of videos out I'm sharing my experiences. My experiences do not align with what's being said on the news or what I was told by a solar contractor when they come out to give me a quote on actually installing a solar system for me. That's why I went and built it myself, sourced everything myself because I did not trust what they said. It sounded fishy. Turns out it was extremely fishy and I would have been lied to and I would have been in a real financial situation had I went forward with having a solar contractor come out and install this and i did not get that large sum of money that they promised i would get so i guess in the conclusion of this video is first i just wanted to explain you may not get the entire lump sum back at one time you may you may be the person that gets a large lump sum back but we can't categorize that as yes you're going to or no you're not going to all I know in my situation, we got 10.9% of our uh, eligible credit that we should have received. And a lot of people are going to ask me that question, well, should I even go solar? Yes, I do believe you should go solar if it's financially fit for your situation. But if you have to pay someone $50,000, put a solar system in and then make a payment on that $50,000 and it's not covering your 100% of your electricity, I don't know. I would never recommend that to somebody. It's putting them in a financial situation they should not be in. However, if you can build this system yourself like I did, and I never built one before, I just studied and educated myself on how to do it, reached out to people when I needed help, reached out to the companies that were selling me the products and the materials that I was using. I reached out to the manufacturers. They're very helpful. They want people to know about solar and they want you to go solar. So they're going to try to help you as much as possible. So you just got to kind of put things together. There's a lot of gray areas. There's a lot of people that don't know what they're talking about. That's going to be reviewing your system. And you got to make sure that you educate yourself well enough to address those questions when they're presented to you. So with that said, am I happy that I went solar? 100%. I would do it over again. Only thing I would change is where are the placement of my system, but 100%, I would say go solar if you can. If you're financially in a situation where you're not relying on that 30% tax credit come back in the form of a check, 100% go solar. So if you found this video helpful in any way, as I mentioned before, please smash the thumbs up button. It really does help me out. It lets me know that I'm doing things right, and I appreciate you doing that for me. I hope to catch you in my next one.